begin our program with broken hearts in yet another American town, which today became the site of yet another deadly school shooting. Students run to safety after they are escorted out of the school building. Post utter devastation. Active search is going on right now for those who've been trapped. Donald Trump wins the presidency. It's still illegal on the federal level. Horrifying event, more than 50 people killed. Horrible, inexplicable shocking and painful tragedy. Police violence directed at black Americans. Same-sex marriage legal in this country. Crazy things can come true. Jordan Peele, get out. The Chicago Cubs win the World Series. But we're going to keep fighting hard for God. A border wall between the United States and Mexico. As President Trump has just ordered a military strike on Syria. President Trump giving North Korea an ultimatum of ending its nuclear program. The problem has got to be between the United States and North Korea. Kylie is slowly but surely introducing Stormy to the world. Do you remember those sleepless nights as a little kid, tossing and turning, trying to find that right spot to fall asleep? What would you do when you finally gave up? It used to be turn on the lights and pick up the nearest book, letting the words put you to sleep. What about now? Most likely, you grab your phone, turn the brightness down, and scroll through Twitter or Instagram. Maybe even Snapchat a friend or two. In today's society, we have the ability to access media from so many different forms. From your laptops, newspapers, books, music, and the news, when deciding which medium to use, our possibilities are endless. The most notorious of the bunch, the smartphone. To think the concept of having infinite amounts of information fit in the palm of your hand seemed impossible just 20 years ago. The smartphone has just become much more than a tool, inserting itself in the place of conversation and instigating social media brawls. On the other hand, smartphones have brought a large percentage of the world together, connecting us at the touch of a button, allowing for the sharing of ideas and transfer of information. Social media's impact on the way we gain information has been greatly increasing over the past 10 years. We are keeping up with the Kardashians on Instagram, getting all of the latest political news from Twitter, and watching crazy stories from around the world on Snapchat. Our ability to gain access to information at a rapid rate has caused a modern information overload, and we are often unable to distinguish what is fact or fiction. Before there was a 24-hour news cycle, Twitter, and other forms of social media, we had books and written material that we would rely on to give us information. In all libraries, you can find a catalog system that allows you to narrow down and filter your search to help you seek the specific information that you need. While it may seem like filtering information in 2018 is impossible, and we often fail to do so, it is not. We have applications like Google Scholar and other databases that help us distinguish valid information sources from those that are not. This modern epidemic of information has created two distinct types of attention, hyperattention and deep attention. Hyperattention consists of sporadic focus here and there, often associated with multitasking. Conversely, deep attention takes place when lost in the pages of a good book or focusing intensely on your studies. But the sad reality is, people can't really focus anymore. Sitting down and simply breathing has become a difficult task because of all the information swimming around us. Luckily, you can choose to disconnect, maybe take a walk along the lake, or enjoy a day in the wilderness. With practice and a lot of effort, you can prevent information overload from affecting your own life. <laughs>